I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some test questions from recent test papers. This one is from polynomial equations. Let me show you the test paper itself and then we'll discuss this particular question. The question is, uh, now in this test paper it is question number 38 where it says Amit has designed a rectangular storage unit to hold large factory equipment. His scale model has dimensions 1 meter by 2 meter by 4 meters. By what amount should he increase each dimension to produce an actual storage unit that is 9 times the volume of this scale model? So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question. Student has correctly answered the question also. Then you can have a look at the solution and that is indeed uh, the right solution. However, I'll share with you a simpler approach to this particular solution. Now let's get back to the question. I've just changed the name here. Uh, written, Anil has designed a rectangular storage unit to hold large factory equipment. His scale model has dimensions 1 meter by 2 meter by 4 meters. By what amount should he increase each dimension? to produce an actual storage unit that is nine times the volume of a scale model. So, so basically the design could be uh, like this, length one, width two, and let's say height of four. Okay, so we're saying uh, whatever. So, okay, so we say length one, width two, and the height of four, right? So that is the storage unit. So when we say height of four, so this is the storage unit which we're talking about, correct? So that is how it is. Okay. So that is the model actually. Now it has to be increased and it is increased by same amount on each side, correct? So basically it means that, uh, let us increase the width by, let us say X, right? And we'll also increase this dimension by x so what we have here and also the height by the same amount right so in that case uh, the box or the storage unit will be kind of like this correct so so that is the increased size okay now we are given that the initial dimensions are 1 2 and 4 so initial volume, so we say volume I as initial volume will be length times width times height and in our case it is 1 meter by 2 meters by 4 meters, right? So we get initial volume of 8 meter cube. Now we need to scale the model so that the volume increases nine times. So we want final volume to be nine times initial volume, the starting volume, right? So that means nine times eight meter cube and that is 72, right? Meter cube. Now I'm writing decimals here. It does not mean decimal, it's a product kind of a thing. You can write nine in brackets, right? So nine times vi, so nine times eight is 72 meter cube. So that is the volume required. Now we know what are the dimensions. Since we increase the dimensions by one each, so what we have here is final volume. We need 72 meter cube. So I'm not writing units now. And the dimensions are one plus X times two plus X since we increased by plus X, right? That is what it is. So this is like two plus X here, right? and this dimension is 1 plus x, correct? The height will be 4 plus x. So that becomes the height for us. Then 1 plus x plus 2 plus x times 4 plus x, I mean 4 plus x, uh, should be equal to 72. Now to solve this polynomial equation, you can expand, bring 72 on this side and then find the zeros, you know, as the student has done. That is one approach. However, uh, my suggestion is that at times what you can do is, 
you can substitute values for x and then calculate what value of x will give you 72. You get my point, right? So let us say that the volume, so we'll substitute different values and then check. So we say what is the volume when x is 1? You get the idea? So we'll just substitute 1 here. So it is 1 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 4 plus 1. And that is we have 2 times 3 times 5. And you can always use the calculator. That gives you uh, 15 times 2 as 30, right? So that is 30, I mean, that is 30 for you. So 30 definitely is much lesser than what we need. So what we can find now is what is the volume when this increases 2, right? So we can substitute 2 here. So we get 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 2 times 4 plus 2 which is equal to 3 times 4 times 6, right? Now, 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 times 6 is 72. So what you get is 72. So therefore, you can say that the amount by which it should be increased is 2, and the units are meters. You get the point, right? So, so we get the answer, that is amount by which each dimension is increased should be equal to 2 meters, correct? So that is how you can get your answer. And that actually helps because you're saving a lot of time in the test in expanding a polynomial, bringing terms together, factoring, and then finding zeros. I hope this approach will save a lot of time for you and help you get better marks. Thank you and all the best.